All right, imagine this. You're throwing a tennis ball at a brick wall. Logically, it'll bounce back, right? Now, what if I told you that, in the quantum realm, particles don't always play by those rules? This is the basis of quantum tunneling, a phenomenon so strange it feels like sci-fi, but it's completely real. Tunneling happens because particles don't behave like little solid objects. They exist in a haze of probabilities, called a wave function. When they hit a barrier, be it an energy field or a physical block, there's a tiny probability that the particle isn't stopped, but instead pops up on the other side, as if it passed straight through. No, it's not breaking the laws of physics. It's just following the bizarre rules of quantum mechanics. Here's where it gets fascinating. One advanced application of tunneling lies in nanotechnology, specifically in devices like scanning tunneling microscopes. Appropriately named, right? These microscopes use the tunneling effect to see individual atoms, mapping surfaces at an atomic scale. Without tunneling, these instruments wouldn't exist. But it's not just about microscopes. Quantum tunneling is also critical for the function of today's microchips and diodes, allowing electrons to leap across energy gaps in semiconductors. In fact, it's one of the reasons your phone or laptop functions at all. Talk about invisible magic, huh? You might wonder, why doesn't tunneling happen in your everyday life, like that tennis ball jumping through the wall? Well, it's because macroscopic objects don't exhibit quantum behaviors in detectable ways. Our world operates under classical physics most of the time, leaving these wild phenomena confined to the microscopic domain. And here's one for the philosophers. Tunneling brings us one step closer to the ultimate understanding of reality. It's a peek behind the cosmic curtain that defines everything from nuclear reactions in stars to the innovations we hold in our hands. Just think, our entire universe might operate with these rules at its foundation, yet we're only scraping the surface. If you're hungry for more short or in-depth dives into advanced physics, tech, and philosophy, subscribe to HyperFocus. I'll see you there.